When you asked me to do this interview with my daughter, I begged for clothes so she could be interviewed. What she's wearing are not her clothes. I borrowed them for her to wear. Would you accept this for your daughter? Today is the first day of school in Gaza. We woke up, we had breakfast, we cleaned. The schools have been hit by airstrikes, and the rubble filled the schools. I don't know how we are going to study in them. They're still fixing the schools. On the first day, they read our names out loud to see which class we were in. There are no new uniforms for us to wear like the other girls. Everybody was wearing black or dark blue dresses and white headscarves. And we were wearing colored headscarves. And it's good that we found these headscarves because otherwise we would have had nothing. We found that many of our friends were not in school. Some have moved. Some of the girls died during this war, and now we're all strangers to each other. Here in the government schools, the government gives us old books. They give the top 10 students the new books, and I'm from the top 10, so I get the new books, but there are some girls who don't get new books at all. I was ready for school. I wanted to achieve high grades this year and get more than 90%, just like I achieved 90% last year. But not anymore. My house had two floors, and it was built on an area of 200 square meters. We had everything, from furniture to a refrigerator to a washing machine. Each one of my children had his own independent bed, and they had an office desk and a computer. They had a TV, and I had another one. But now what we have is zero. I'm proud of my daughter, because she's one of the top students. But I am sad because she's not wearing a headscarf like the other girls. She's not wearing shoes like the other girls. She doesn't have a bag like the other girls. She went to school wearing clothes we borrowed from charity. I am sad for her and I feel defeated. I used to buy her nice clothes and I never asked anything from anybody. The first day of school used to be a moment of celebration for us. My children were happy. They would get dressed like it was for a party, but now it's not like this. My children could have been happy. <laughs>